Hello, welcome back. Today we will continue our explanation of chapter 1 in biology. And actually, we talked about the water. It's important for the plant in order to carry out the photosynthesis process and the ways by which the plant absorb the water. And also, we talked about the mineral salts which are important for the plant in order to carry out the photosynthesis process, but we didn't talk about the methods by which the plant absorbs them yet. But before talking about this, we have to just illustrate something. Before talking about the methods by which the plant absorbs the mineral salts, we want to draw the way which the water or the route which the water takes in order to reach to the center of the stem of the plant. So first we will draw the here the first layer of this of the root of the plant then we will draw Then, here we have another cover. Then we have some cells. And then we have here the And so on. Here, the cells here. We have now, sorry, as I missed this because it was important uh, to illustrate before the talking about the matter cells. Here we have the cells containing sap vacuoles and the, of course, the chloroplasts in this way, like this. Just, just draw a circle with points surrounding them to resemble the, gra the granite disks or the chloroplasts as well. Here. Okay. We should label this here if we okay. Here we have the root hair. Okay, and this is the nucleus of the root hair. So this is the root hair, and this is the nucleus of the root hair. This is the sap vacuole. Of course, the root hair have a great sap vacuole in order to store the water and the metal source, as we said, which travel to from the outside medium to the inside medium by means of diffusion. As we said, we have set four methods, osmosis, diffusion, imbibition, and permeability. Okay. This is the structure of the root hair. Here we have all this layer called the epidermis. Uh, as it resembles the skin, the skin of the root. 
here we don't have any labels on this part here the second part the second layer of the cells is called the cortex okay the root hair nucleus cell vacuole epidermis cortex this is called the endodermis so we know that the skin of the human consists of two parts the epidermis and the endodermis also the plant have two layers in its skin the epidermis and the endodermis here this is the xylem and this is flow and we will know the role of each one of them later okay there's something messing here we have the root hair, the nucleus, the cell vacuole, the epidermis, the cortex, the endodermis, the xylem, and the flow. Okay, we have the most important part here in this drawing is the the water. We have already drawn this figure in order to illustrate the passage of water or the water flow through the root hair on the root in order to reach to the center of the stem which is the xylem here those both are xylem okay we will just write here the water flow direction and we will let water enter from here also we remove with the arrows along the down like this and here the water moves we'll draw here various lines in order to illustrate that the water at the end reaches here so this is the passage of water through the root and we of course we must name write the name of the drawing right down so this is a PS to show the flow or the water flow through the root and as a, as an end for this episode we must illustrate the meaning of the TS. Alright, I'll read this. We must, of course, know the meaning of the TS and, and LS because it's very important in biology. We have two types of sections. If you want to examine for example, a stem of a plant, alright, the stem would look like this. Of course, this is a stem. Okay, if I want to examine this circle, this circle, I want to see what's found inside the circle. So, I'll cut this by this way. I'll cut it transversely, transverse section. So when I cut the stem and release the part that I cut, it's called a transverse section because it's cut horizontally. So the transverse section is horizontal. Why? If I want to examine what's found along the stem, here, along all of this section. So, at this time, it's called longitudinal. Section is obvious from the word longitudinal that it's got along the stem. 
And this one has got Berkeley. To make it more obvious, so this is the pen. If I look at the pen from this point, this is the transverse section. And if I cut the pen longitudinally along it, I'll see the core of the pen. And the core of the pen will appear through the longitudinal section. So this is the end of our lesson today. The next time we will talk about the methods by which the plant absorb the essential mineral salts. And that's it for today. And see you next time. Thanks for watching.